Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the midpoint theorem. I'm actually going to do an example, an exam type question and show you how you apply the midpoint theorem. But here, I want to explain how it works. You will be given a triangle and the triangle will have one line parallel to the other one. But that line will bisect the lines on the side. So you see AD is equal to DB and then AE is equal to EC. So E and D are midpoint. So if you have that and you have parallel line, then it's midpoint theorem. So if you have that, this line DE is twice BE. So what you'll be given in an exam, you'll be given either one midpoint and parallel lines, then you can conclude that the other side is its midpoint. Or you will be given two midpoints with no parallel lines, then you'll conclude that mm, these two lines are parallel. Okay, let's look at an example. In our example, we are given in triangle ABC, this is the triangle ABC, AD is equal to DB, AD, AD is equal to DB, and AE is equal to EC. Point E lies on the line DF, yes, point E, and AC, yes, AC, point E, DF, point, right? And then they're given that DB is parallel to FC. This line is parallel to FC. DB, this one, parallel to FC. And BC is equal to 96 meters. BC is 96. Then the question says, prove that BCFD is a parallelogram. BCFD, this one, this one here. Is a parallelogram so you need to remember the properties of a parallelogram how do you prove a parallelogram it, one of the ways that you can prove a parallelogram is that two opposite sides are parallel so if this side and that side are parallel and that side and that side are parallel then this whole thing is a parallelogram with a we have b d parallel to c f and the reason is given now we also have D E parallel to B C reason midpoint midpoint theorem. When you look at this line A B, it has a midpoint at D, and the other side A C has a midpoint at E. Even though they didn't give you this two lines that are parallel, because of midpoint theorem, then you can say that they are parallel. So you do have these two opposite sides parallel. So you can say, therefore, B C F G is a palm. It's writing short a parallelogram. You can write a palm. And your reason is both opposite sides parallel. So this is how you, you, you can prove that BCFG is a parallelogram. Let's look at the next question. Okay, B, they say determine the length of BDE. Now, DE, according to midpoint theorem, DE is equal to half BC. And your reason is midpoint theorem. Okay, this line, this one is twice that one. So if I want this one, I must do half of that. So that's why DE is equal to half BC. Now DE is equal to half. What is my BC? My BC is 96 meters. So it means my DE is equal to 48 meters. Okay. This is how you find a... It's not, it's not a that hard theorem. You need to just practice, practice a lot and then you'll get used to it. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.